This is going to be a quick uh, video of to address a peculiar issue with the Royal Enfield Himalayan. I've got a couple of um, people ask me how to about this problem. The problem being at high speeds in the sense at highway speeds, say about 90, 100, 110. The problem is you'll, uh, even though there is fuel, there will be a sensation of uh, fuel starvation in the sense. The, you will feel the vehicle is like bogging down a little, uh, 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 meaning when you ride at probably at 100 and you close throttle at some point and when you slightly open the throttle again, um, uh, there will be a slight hesitation. The feeling of, you know, exactly how, when the, it feels exactly how when the bike uh, falls from main to reserve. Main issue is with the carburetor vent venting. So, my previous video I described what what are the different parts of carburetor. Um, so this is the carburetor float. This is the carburetor float, and the fuel is stored here and it is sucked inside to through the jets into the engine. So. Uh, in the venturi or on the upper part of the carburetor is a low, a low pressure area and this would be at atmospheric pressure. So the bowl is uh, ventilated to the atmosphere so that it maintains a, at least uh, try to maintain the atmospheric pressure uh, through two vent holes. So the two vent holes are then joined together through one outlet. Um, let me see, I can get it. Yep. This is a tube, and this tube, uh, this is the vent venting, and this is a long tube filled with a small clip, and it goes down to uh, underneath the bike. So it's basically hanging, dangling there. The problem is this is a rubber hose, and it can, might get cinched somewhere, you know, clipped somewhere, or get, uh, you know, uh, it can get blocked somewhere. So what happens is when there is when it is blocked or it's not completely open, uh, free, uh, the bowl the bowl will not be able to maintain an atmospheric pressure and it will the pressure inside the bowl also will start to reduce and low pressure on top low pressure on down so there's not there's not enough pressure difference the fuel is sucked slowly so that gives you a sensation of fuel starvation. So what you're going to do is you're going to remove the uh, hose off. I, uh, completely uh, first uh, completely and uh, we tested it and that issue was totally resolved so what you're going to do is we're going to remove it cut this hose up to a manageable length and leave it there I have to run it open for some time the hose I mean without the hose so there will be a small port but I wouldn't really recommend it because water might get inside when you wash the bike uh, water might get inside dust might get inside of the bowl so you should be really uh, a little careful so for that, just for added protection, we'll have a has a hose up to probably a couple of uh, two three inches, and the uh, and the opening will be pointing down, so water won't get in easily. All right. So let's try to remove it with the uh, first. You need to remove the clip with the plier. Mm, the plier. remote so I'm going to take it out this is the part which attaches to the carburetor with a couple of bends and go somewhere else underneath the bike so this part we aren't sure we don't know how it acts when the bike by vehicle moves it's surrounded by other tubes and stuff so it might get you know pinched like this something like this might happen in this case we're going to cut it over here and put it back so that the this uh, path is never blocked so it's, we just cut it to I don't know I'll say approximately three inches we're going to put it back
here. It's up to here. So this tube is never going to get squashed. It's always going to be clear. We can check it periodically and even clean it once in a while to get rid of all the dirt. So give this a shot and see how I mean, it's to especially to people who have this problem. This will definitely address your uh, you know, address that.